What's going on guys, Megazerzy here. I totally did not plan to record this at all, but um, I'm in this Battle Spot doubles tour. I'm like, you know what, might as well record. I just joined this for the hell of it and grabbed the sample team. <laughs> I didn't plan this, so I don't really know what I'm doing, and uh, yeah, that sounds about right. I'm going to toss out um, a Moongus Kangaskhan, because I can like Rage Powder this and this and shit. Zard could be an issue. Uh, I want Scarf Lando in the back, and Sylveon will probably be useful. Yeah, seems legit. Um, I don't really know Battle Spot doubles. I won the first three games with my sample team, and uh, that's about it. So he just straight leads Ninja Puff. Okay. Um, am I afraid of that if it sets up? I mean, a little. I don't see a reason why I can't just, like, protect, fake out, or, hmm. Nah, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I know I can take a hit. I did last time. So I'm going to Spore Ninja and just return, Spore Ninja and just, uh, return Puff, Slurpuff, because then I can follow me the, uh, hit directed to Kangaskhan and kill it. He's running Matt Block. I forgot that was a thing. Doesn't matter. Rage Powder and Return. So, that makes sense, because he's Matt Block and then he's Belly Drum. I get it. Okay. Um, I should be able to eat up a Drain Punch with this and uh, get more Rocky Helmet damage than damage. Well, I don't know. He's at plus four. And then just kill him, as Sleeping Greninja won't do shit. So that's cool. Um, So I just got predicted very hard. And, um, does Rage Powder work again? I don't know. I don't know if Rage Powder will work again. Let's try it. I hope it does. I hope it's not like Protect where it can fail. Uh, well, it didn't fail and he went for Play Rough, so I guess that worked. As that does a solid 60%. Holy fuck. And he doesn't wake up. That's beautiful. He should wake up this turn in time to kill me, but... Um, I'm actually going to message Tech Support Brello. Music is going to cut out because I didn't do the do and get my own music because I uh, didn't plan on recording this. I have no idea if Rage Powder is like Protect, so I'll, uh, I will ask him about that. Uh, that's going to wake up. That's kind of a threat. Once again, I'm just going to Rage Powder and return the Greninja. He can bot my Kangaskhan, but at that point, he'll be kind of low. Actually, I kind of want to switch Amoongus to uh, probably Sylveon and then bop the thing. So I go to Sylveon expecting the Ice Beam, as he actually U-turns. What? I kind of expected an Earthquake. Uh, he's going to wake up and Scald my Kangaskhan? No burn. That's cool. And not... He lived the hit. <sighs> okay, he lived the hit. Mm. I think I can just protect. And then he's going to have to kill Kangaskhan here, right? Otherwise, I'm just going to return the Breloom and it dies. So he kills Kangaskhan, then I can get a Moongus in, Rage Powder, Hyper Voice, do the do. Okay, so Loom has answered me, and uh, hopefully music will stop cutting out, because I should have gotten music, but then I was like, it's a tour game, I gotta, I gotta go. He says, how the hell did that not kill uh, the Dark Wolves? He flinches me! Fuck. That's actually very annoying. Uh, so he gets the landers in, and um, I think I kind of need this. <sighs> She's probably going to like kill Kangaskhan and Spore Sylveon. So I can go to Amoongus, and I would like, I don't mind Kangaskhan dying, or do I? 
I don't want Lando Spored though, so I'm just gonna click uh, Ice Plunge on the Berlin. So he is gonna sleep me, and he goes for Rock too, not Spore. Okay, but at this point, Sylveon should be able to come in, and I can Rage Powder any uh, all the attacks over here, as he's probably choiced. So he will hit Sylveon with that, but he can't Spore Sylveon. Or, like, rock to it. And then Hyper Voice will do the do. And if that doesn't do enough to kill Landris, I'll just have to improvise from there. It should certainly take Brelin down to the Sash so that Landris can just kill it with a rock slide. Um, no, that's just Loom. Never mind. He dropped me a happy face. I don't need to check that and cut out the music. So, I... Do know all his mons. This is this is all he has. My problem here is if he rock slide flinches Sylveon, that will be a huge catastrophe. Hit Landris is a cat. No, okay, because um, then I don't. Like I'll, I'll just kind of lose. So he does go for rock slide. Amoongus dodges it. He's gonna rock tomb. He safety goggles. So that didn't even affect. But Sylveon lives it anyway because it's a lord. Okay, safety goggles Landris. Um, at this point, Scarf Landris with Rock Slide should just clean up. But just in case, I'm going to just click Giga Drain Hyper Voice. If somehow he doesn't kill me, I'm expecting him to kill both my mons. He actually misses, so he won't kill both my mons. Um, that shouldn't have come into play. I actually think it would have been cooler if he did, because then I could have like been down and then just Rock Slide one. Uh, but whatever. Um... That was a cool game. Scarf Lando is just going to clean up, and then um, the next game is on already, so I'm not even going to have to skip. I'm just going to be able to challenge him. You can see my incredible uh, my incredible skills of uh, being able to cut the screen into a good part so that it just looks perfectly awkward. Um, if we check the bracket, this is actually semifinals, and this guy beat Joran, who's a very good player. So I'm kind of afraid since I just have a sample team. After this, I'll probably have to skip. But um, in versus Trava. Oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, this. I haven't brought Heatran a single game, and I'm not bringing it this game. So obviously, Amoongus is gonna be good. Rotom's gonna be good, and I guess Kangaskhan, and then um, probably Sylveon. I don't see a reason to bring anything else. Uh, that seems to make me a little Ferrothorn weak, but I can burn it. It can't touch a Moongus. I can kind of do stuff. Oh, wait. Does Rage Powder not affect Grass types? That's. It's not Safety Goggles, Breloom. It can affect Grass types. Okay, I can't even Rage Powder that thing. Um, I kind of want to toss out my Kangaskhan in case he has this so I can low kick it. And then, um, Scrotum has a good matchup on shit. Oh shit, I just, uh, sometimes my trackpad fucks up. Yes, I'm using a trackpad because it's just not easy to record with the mouse I've found. Um, so Kangaskhan. Alternatively, Sylveon would be nice to have in because otherwise I'm weak to Kingdra, but if I don't send Rotom, kind of weak to Swampert. I'm just going to send him Rotom and keep Sylveon and Amoongus in the back. Or I could lead with Kanga Amoongus, that's probably way better. And then have Rotom, Sylveon in the back. That seems like a better plan. Um, do I start timering him? Wow, I see how it is. So he's going to lead Politoed and what? Um, Azumarill to get the rain up, okay. Uh, the thing about Azumarill is, I have an Amoongus, which can Rage Powder, which can just generally fuck it up. He's either protecting, or he's going to Ferrothorn, and I'm not... I don't know enough to read which one. I don't want to... I don't want to Mega Evolve Fake Out and then take damage from Ferrothorn, from like all the rocky barbs and shit, so what I'm gonna do is fake out Amoongus without Mega Evolving, and uh, straight Spore Politoed, I don't see a reason not to, 
help get it out of the way. Seems like the play. As he does stay in and clicks Hydro. Oh, fuck. Okay. I thought he would be Damp Rock. That is like specs or something. Holy shit. <sighs> that scared the fuck out of me. So Kangaskhan now dies to uh, Ferrothorn, and then nothing else I have can touch it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, so what I'm thinking is he's going to predict me to attack a mo uh, to attack this thing and try to switch in Ferrothorn on the Rage Powder. But uh, I'm going to return the Politoed. And Rage Powder just in case, because he may just Aqua Jet. As he does just Aqua Jet, but that's not happening. And he takes Rocky Helmet damage, and no more rain. Okay, because that's not... I don't believe that's Stamp Rock. And because of that, um, Kangaskhan won't be dying. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, rain is going to run out. That's very ideal. So he's going to go to Latias. So... I think I need to keep Kangaskhan just in case his last is Ferrothorn. But if his last is Ferrothorn, that means he has no Swift Swimmers, which I really don't believe he would do. And then Baldur to bring Politoed. So what I'm going to do is Rage... If I Rage Powder Amoongus, Amoongus is definitely going to die because he's going to Psy Shock me, but he won't have the chance to Aqua Jet me, which means that I will kill off the Azumarill, which is a large threat to this team. Just Rage Powder. I'm not near... I'm much less afraid of Latias. So I should be able to kill that, as I don't believe he is Protect. Eat up the Aqua Jet, as he's going to kill me off with a Psy Shock, but no more Azumarill. Um, so he's Latias in. Obviously, I'm sending in Sylveon, not the fucking uh, Rotom thing. If he reveals Ferrothorn, I'm going to be scared, but I will have Low Kick. He reveals Swampert. That's fine. I don't mind that. Um, I'm going to get my Rotom in, because I want to save this for Fake Out. I don't believe I can straight Hyper Voice. I believe that he will just kill me. He says Hyper Voice GG. He kills me. Like, I, Sylveon does not live hits. Then again, what's the point in protecting if he'll just kill me next turn? I guess it gives Rotom a free turn. So I'm going to get Rotom in and just protect... Because I have no doubt that he's clicking Earthquake with Swampert and Psy shocking this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Called everything. Okay. Um, burn that thing. Switch out to Kangaskhan, sacking it so that I can get Sylveon in on the burn Swampert and take hits. I still don't think I take hits. I'm just going to Hyper Voice. Well, if I burn that thing, and he does kill, and he kills Sylveon, then I can get Kangaskhan in, I can fake out... Kangaskhan's too slow, I gotta sack it. Go into Kangaskhan. If I miss a Wisp, that's gonna be different. As he does just Waterfall here, not even Earthquake, uh, that makes sense. And Thunderbolt, why is he running Thunderbolt? At least Thunder. He gets a crit, which is rather unfortunate. But I am going to get the burn off. As, was it actually Damp Rock? It was, so good thing I sat Kangaskhan. It would be mu it would have been much, much less useful. Uh, that crit might actually come into play, because Rotom is now in range of a Draco. Um, so, straight Hydro Pumping Swampert gets it out of the way and protect because I'm expecting the Psy Shock to come down just trying to kill Sylveon nope he Psy Shocks Rotom and I live to get the Citrus but the crit does put me in range of the next hit as I miss ah shit okay Hydro Hyper Voice come on get kills get kills get kills I definitely should not have protected because he did not Psy Shock my Sylveon that was not the good play to make but that crit will end up coming into play here. Because uh, now I might be in KO range of this. Alternatively, he might just double target Sylveon and hope it goes down. Because then Rotom wouldn't beat Latias one-on-one. -on -one. 
Um, so he did not bring it, bring Pharaoh, which was the threat I was afraid of. But I don't know if I won because protecting there was a really bad play. He ended up side shocking Rogue. Uh, and now I don't know if I live waterfall plus side shock. So, um, I definitely believe that mattered, that thing, so that's unfortunate. Gonna protect and then kill off the Swampert, and hopefully I can, like, Thunderbolt pair of that. Uh, so this is my first, uh, time playing VGC, and that did not go as well as I hoped, but I guess it was kind of cool to get two games in. Unfortunately, that one kind of just came down to hacks, but, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.